Om Sai Ram. Today, I have come up with a beautiful instance as written in the book Sai at 366, which talks about Sai, the speed post. Their children would also become the devotees of Sai Baba if one of their parents is a devotee of Sai Baba. Gangadhar, Vishnu, Kshir, Sagar's parents were the devotees of Sai Baba. They used to often go to have the darshan of Baba. They gave their cultivated land to Sai Baba's devotee, Mr. Balaji Nevaskar. Some time passed very nicely. The father of Gangadhar passed away. Nevaskar has claimed himself the title holder of that cultivated land. When Nevaskar told that this problem has to be solved in front of Sai Baba, they all went to Baba. While they were about to step into Dwarka Mai, Sai Baba questioned Nevaskar, Why are you troubling my children? Give back them their land. Thus advised Sai Baba. All went back home after listening to Sai Baba's words. But Nevaskar did not hand over the land to Gangadhar. They had to take possession of the land through the court. Sai Baba attained Mahasamadhi. Gangadhar Vishnu Kshir Sagar got transferred to Sonawadi. Sonawadi is on the way to Shirdi to Nasik. From Sonawadi, Gangadhar used to go to Shirdi and sing Sankirtanas at Sai Baba's Mandir. It was on June 27th, 1935. Gangadhar has got a dream. He got a darshan of Sai Baba in the dream. Still, are you sleeping? Today, the court has ordered to give back your land to you. There is a festival at Shirdi. Come and have food here. Sai Baba told Gangadhar in the dream. Then Sai Baba disappeared. It was a true fact. Gangadhar's property case was lying in the court. On that day, Gangadhar received a letter from his brother. In that letter, it was written that the Ahmadnagar District Court has ordered the case in favour of Gangadhar's brothers on 27th June year 1935. The date the court has given the order and the date Sai Baba informed Gangadhar in his dream were one and the same. Whatever happens anywhere, Sai Baba knows everything in advance. That was Sai Baba's speed post. The moral of the story, Baba always supports his devotees who are genuine, reasonable and faithful. And this is a classic example which helps us to understand that concept. Hence, we as Baba's devotees should never crave for others' property. Be contented and satisfied with whatever Baba has given to you or best owed on you. And always respect what you have than envying for others' property or belonging. Let us all learn the lesson of contentment. Jai Sai Ram. Go to Shri Sai. Peace be to all. For more audios, please visit saililas.com. Jai Sai Ram.